Mm. Hey, who? Ronnie. Sorry. Me? I forgot. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. Do you see anybody else here? <laughs> I, I hear Buster. <laughs> oh yeah, well they're that. <laughs> yeah, keep them in the house, yes. please. We have a list today of five things you can do right now to prolong your life by 10 years. That's right, a decade. Huh. Maybe we should share it with them, Ronnie. Does this apply to people that are like 100 years old? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> void word prohibited. <laughs> Next on Men Are So Smart. Hey, Ronnie, you want to live 10 years longer? Mm, I don't know. Oh, really? Probably. Yeah. Okay, well, we can yeah. end it all right now. I guess 10 years is about right. Well, you know what? <laughs> the news tells us that you may have to revamp your lifestyle. There are five habits that, when done together, could add more than a decade to your life expectancy. Uh, the good news, 10 years is a lot of extra time. The bad news... And there's always a catch. You have to cut out junk food and stop being a couch potato. Kill me now. I know. Just kill me now. Yep. Uh, so, let's see. Here's uh, what the study recommends you do. First off, oh. eat a healthy diet, Ron. You know, and I try to do that. And it works for a couple days. Yeah. Then you kind of fall off the wagon. It's kind of like working out at the gym. Yes. <laughs> you go for four days straight, and then you're so sore you never go back. Well, which slides right into the second one, uh -huh. exercise 30 minutes or more a day. In one day? <laughs> Every single day for the rest of your life. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. I, don't, I ain't got... Nobody got time for that. Yeah. Ain't nobody. It's... And you know, when you get to the gym... Yeah. You don't want to stop at 30 minutes. It, you don't? It's like I drove all the way to the gym. Uh-huh. I might as well put in... I try to get in an hour and a half. I'm going to go. Really? Yeah. 30 minutes of exercise and an hour at the juice bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next up, maintain a healthy weight. Specifically, a body mass index. My whole body is a mass index. <laughs> Between 18.5 and 24.9. I don't know what my BMI is. Um... It's I'm I'm gonna guess because mine is right around thirty. Okay. And so yours yours is probably pretty close to that. Yeah. That's tough. That eighteen and a half, we would both look very sickly at an eighteen and a half BMI. Uh, I don't even when I get down to under two hundred twenty five pounds, I don't even like the way I look. I feel like I look like a rail or a beanstalk or something. You know? I got down to one hundred ninety seven pounds a few years ago. We had a Biggest Loser contest yeah. at work, a weight loss competition and I lost a lot of weight and I got under 200 pounds and it was right before Christmas and when I saw some relatives that I hadn't seen before they thought I had some kind of cancer disease yeah yeah mm -hmm. they thought I was sick exactly and people at work thought I was going through a divorce oh wow because that's what people do some they don't apparently much. They, they stop eating they try to get good looking again or something yeah no I, I you, you know you can't it's almost impossible to be at the weight your doctor recommends yeah oh, really yeah. my doctor's not even at the weight he recommends right yeah right so how he, you know he told me uh, it's, it's i'll tell you what i just had blood work done uh-huh my doctor told me he, he was sitting there smoking <laughs> 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 no, my doctor, my doctor, Vinny Boom Bots. Uh, no, uh, that's just a joke. Okay, <laughs> Doctor Ben Dover. <laughs> yeah, not again. <laughs> so this next one, this one's not a problem for me. In fact, uh -huh. my doctor tells me all the time, stop drinking. Like, yeah, I, I drink water. That's about <laughs> it. Uh, don't drink too much alcohol. No more, no more than five ounces of glass of wine a day for women. Two glasses for men. Um, and actually, I'm a I'm kind of thinking that really I should probably drink a little, because there are some studies that show a little bit of alcohol is actually good for you. Well, we've done prior episodes where we talked about how a small shot of tequila every day is actually good for your health. Right, and even red wine is you know there are a lot of there's a big upside to drinking a, a glass of red wine. You know, and um, and I'm not a big red wine fan, but. Yeah. On the way over here, I stopped at that little gas station, um, and I bought a bottle of Smart Water. Didn't work. <laughs> Didn't work. Take it back. Did you save the receipt? <laughs> no, not smart enough for that. <laughs> Next up, don't smoke. Wow. Ever. Ever? Ever. Ever. Never? 
Yeah. What if you're on fire? That ship has sailed, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Well, I think if you're on fire, you can you can smoke. Oh, that counts? Or at least smolder. Okay, so yeah. I'll remember that next time I light up. Yep. Men and women who followed the healthiest of lifestyles were 82% less likely to die from cardiovascular, cardiovascular disease and 65% less likely to die from cancer compared with people who lived unhealthy lifestyles over the course of 30 years, according to the study. But they were a lot happier. <laughs> the unhealthy people were probably <laughs> like, woo! <laughs> yeah, they went out with a bang while the older people who were healthy were just going, what the hell am I still doing here? All of my friends have died. Researchers analyzed 34 years of data for more than 78,000 women and 27 years of data for more than 44,000 men. That's a lot. Uh, that is a lot. Seems like an awful lot. The researchers estimated the women who adopted these five habits would see 14 more years of life and men would add 12 years. The healthy habits that the Harvard researchers pinpointed may sound obvious, but they're not that easy to adopt. No. For starters, the recommended BMI might be difficult for many Americans. The average BMI for the average American man is 28.6, you said you're 30. Right. Um, up from 25.1 in the early 1960s. Anything over 24.9 is considered overweight. <sighs> and a BMI over 30 is regarded as obese. Do you know, several years back at a physical, my doctor classified me as obese? Yeah. I'm six foot three, for God's sakes. I'm not obese. Yeah, it's by the, and you know, and I actually heard somewhere where they're kind of revamping these BMI numbers they need a to. little bit, uh, because I'll tell you, there is something, my father-in-law was very ill, I don't know, in February, I think, and he had a little extra meat on his bones, and thank God he did, because he lost like 40 pounds. Wow. If he had had a, a BMI index of, you know, that 18, 19 range, he would have had nothing to lose. Maybe doctors have some kind of a deal with coroners <laughs> and funeral homes. It's and possible. Maybe if they shrink you up to a certain size, <laughs> they can get you in a much smaller coffin yeah. that takes up less space at the graveyard. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, it could be. Just a theory. Yeah. I don't make this stuff up. Uh, so there are a few ways to slowly make them part of your life, however, according to the National Institute of Health. Become aware of your bad habits, whether they're dipping into the office vending machine at 3 p.m. or staying out late and giving the gym a miss the next morning. Because you stop for bugles. <laughs> and, and Cheetos. Also, don't do it alone. That's what she said. <laughs> Ask friends and family to try these healthy challenges with you. The National Institute of Health also suggests looking ahead and imagining how you'll feel when you accomplish your goals. You're never too out of shape too overweight or too old to make healthy changes so you know i gotta tell you when i lost all that weight my knees felt spectacular better. yeah i'm sure spectacular mm -hmm. yeah uh there's other factors to consider if you want to add years to your life or at the very very least not to shorten it along with exercising yeah don't get hit by a bus there you go that's the best one that's the way to yeah, that's, get that's gotta be number life. one yeah uh, along with exercising and eating nutritious meals people need to have active social lives and get enough sleep. Uh, more than 40% of adults in the U.S. Su suffer from loneliness, sad. which is linked to depression, dementia, anxiety, and cardiovascular diseases. Insufficient sleep also leads to hypertension, diabetes, and obesity. Mm. Hmm, I get about five hours a night. So... I think I, I think I got about that last night. Yeah, that's what I that's what I average. All right, take into consideration what happens when you do the opposite of this study from Harvard. Poor diet leads to one in five deaths, according that's a happy note. Merry Christmas. <laughs> according to a study by researchers, a poor diet can also cause high blood pressure and diabetes, which are linked to eating the wrong foods. The right diet, the study found is one that incorporates whole grains, mm, fiber. Oh. That's what cereal I eat, fruit and fiber. Oh boy, yes. Fruits, nuts, and seeds. That sounds like California. Yeah, there's a lot Fruits of those and here. Nuts and seeds. <laughs> uh, not exercising also leads to high <coughs> blood pressure and diabetes, and people who are physically inactive <coughs> are more likely to develop anxiety, depression, coronary heart <coughs> disease, 
and even cancer, according to John Hopkins Medicine. Falling below or above your proper BMI isn't safe. Being underweight, where your BMI is below average, signals malnutrition, which you were referring to, and increases the risk of osteoporosis, decreased immune function, and fertility issues. Uh, having a higher BMI or having obesity causes chronic health conditions such as asthma and bone problems. Uh, overindulging in alcohol can lead to cancer, even a light intake, according to the American Society of Clinical Oncology. So that's a little bit different than some of the studies we've read before that say, hey, a glass of wine uh, or two, or two, uh, a drink is certainly not, it's not unhealthy. Uh, there are some health benefits to it from from the study or from the readings we've done before. Smoking has killed more than one in 10 people worldwide, according to a study pu published. 11.5% of global deaths were attributed to smoking. So given all that, those five good habits may not seem so bad after all. Hmm. Well, you know, um, one way of looking at this is, it's not your time until God decides it's your time. Right. Now, other people don't believe in God, and they also don't believe in fate. Um, there's, as I said, a couple of ways of looking at this. You could be as you could be a marathon runner, eating a diet of nothing but fiber, fruit, seeds, and nuts, and while you're out on your jog, get hit by a bus, yep. and die at 40. Or you could live the life you want, eat whatever you want. Um, you may or may not suffer complications from that, but you may or may not be happier. Yeah. So, and and maybe you don't get hit by that bus. You know, there's, um, there's no telling. I mean, we're at the age now where pretty much us and all of our friends are gonna probably statistically die of cancer or a heart attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's just, you know, as you're younger, I imagine car accidents and, you know, thrill sports and things like that are much higher on the list. But as you get older, mm, certainly cancer and heart attack start replacing all the other variables. One other note, Ronnie, my, my father-in-law, who was a wonderful man, and we miss him dearly, especially during the holidays, he lived to be 84 years old. It's a pretty good age. And pretty much his son, my brother-in-law, and my wife uh, were, were taking care of him. Uh, he did things for himself. It wasn't like he was feeble. Um, he was able to do many things, including driving. Wow. Um, but, you know, my wife came home one time from a weekend of taking care of her dad. And she said to me, she goes, he still wants to smoke. Oh. And you know what I said to her? Let him. He's 84 years old. It hasn't killed him yet. Exactly. Yeah. Let him do what he wants. Right. If he wants to have a beer or a drink or a cigarette or even a cigar, for God's sakes. Go get it for him. Exactly. Yeah. Let him do. Let him whatever makes him happy. Yeah. So, you know, there's that way of looking at it too, Ronnie. Yeah. I know uh, one of my best friends all through high school, his, uh, his father passed away, I don't know, at least a year ago. Mom just passed away this last week, and uh, she was 88, and you know what? She was an unbelievable woman, a force of nature. Um, they come from an Italian family, uh, cooking all the time. She was involved with the church. 88 years old, that's pretty good. Yeah. You know what? If somebody gave me an option right now, sign here, we'll let you live till 88, mm -hmm. I'd probably sign that, because who knows? Anything beyond that is a gift. I'm, my mom made it to 90, but her last couple of years were not amazing, you know, yeah. quality of life-wise. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and, and the biggest thing for us is probably going to be because our, our knees, our joints are so bad, <laughs> you know, we're going to be, yeah, we may be alive, but we'll be stuck uh, yeah. in, you know, with new knees or, you know, who knows what they'll have by then. One more thing I'd like to mention. I always, I and I will always want just one more day with my grandson. Yeah. So, 
you know, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, if it's worth it, you know, maybe you need to start eating a little more healthy. Um, can hurt. It's not all about you. Right. Um, for me, it's all about my grandchildren right now. And, and I think that's what happens when you get to be this age. So. Well, and for everything you eat, there's a healthier choice. So, you know, if you just start substituting one or two good habits a day with, you know, I mean, if you start substituting good habits with, uh, or bad habits with good habits, hey, small little incremental changes can add up over time. Hope you enjoyed the show today. Maybe even learn something from it. Never know. Uh, my dad died at 65. That's, that's too young. Yeah, and, and the thing that concerns me is that my life has really paralleled my dad's. Mm. So, you know, uh, looking at that number, uh, if I live any more than six more years, I'll be happy. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's what I'm looking at right now. Okay, uh, please, if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the show. Give it a thumbs up. Click that bell that you see. When you do, you'll get notifications each time a new show has come out. That way you'll never miss it. We try to keep these shows under 20 minutes yep. uh, so that you can do it maybe even on your lunch hour or while you're out for your walk or walking the dog, whatever the case may be. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart.